Betty's Bakery calculates the total price D in dollars for C cupcakes using the equation D is equal to 2 times C. What does 2 mean in this situation? So pause this video and see if you can answer that. All right, before I even look at the choices, let me just interpret this. They say this says D equals 2C tells us that however many cupcakes someone buys, we multiply that times two to get the amount of dollars, the price, that they need to pay. So this must mean that each cupcake is $2, or that is $2 per cupcake, because however many cupcakes we get, we multiply that by $2 per cupcake to get the actual price. So let's see, choice A says the bakery charges $2 for each cupcake. Yeah, that's pretty close to what I just said, so I'll go with that one. The bakery sells two cupcakes for a dollar. No, that would not be the case. And you could even try it out. If we had one cupcake, so if C is one, what is D going to be? And actually, let me just do that for you because it's interesting. C and D. So if you get one cupcake, you're going to multiply it by two, it's going to be two dollars. Two cupcakes are going to multiply it by two and be four dollars. It's consistent with this first choice. But to sell two cupcakes, it's not going to be for a dollar. It's going to be for four dollars. The bakery sells two types of cupcakes. Well, they don't say anything about that, so I'll rule that out as well. Let's do another one. Here, we are told, select the store with the least expensive ice cream per scoop. There's definitely a dessert theme going on over here. All right, so pause this video and see if you can work it out. Is it choice A, choice B, or choice C? All right, now let's go through these together. Choice A calculates the total price D in dollars of ice cream with S scoops using the equation D is equal to 0.75 S. So whatever the number of scoops are, we're going to multiply that times 75 cents or 75 hundredths of a dollar to get the price. And so based on the logic we just used in that last example, in store A, it is 75 cents, 75 cents per, per scoop. So we know the price there. And anything like this, when you're comparing, you want to put it all in the same term. So okay, here it's 75 cents per scoop. Let's think about how, many, how much per scoop it is at B and how, many, how much per scoop it is for C. All right, now store B. So when I get three scoops, I multiply that times one to get $3. When I get eight scoops, I multiply it times one to get $8. When I have 12 scoops, I multiply it by one to get $12. So the equation that store B must use is that the dollars D, that's going to be equal to one times the number of scoops. Or you could view this as, hey, it's a dollar per scoop at store B. So one dollar, one dollar per scoop. So we already know that store A is cheaper than store B, because 75 cents per scoop is cheaper than $1 per scoop. Store C, all right, so here this, this relationship is described with a graph, but we can put it in the same forms that we saw before. So for store C, let me make a little table here. And so if I have the scoops and I have the dollars, so let's see, when I get Two scoops, it looks like, and I'm just picking values where it looks like I can read the graph easily. Two scoops looks like $3. Two scoops, $3. Four scoops, it is $6. Four scoops, it's $6. So it looks like I'm multiplying times one point half, one and a half, I was gonna say one point half, one, one point five or one and a half to go from scoops to dollars. Or another way you could think about it is the dollars is equal to 1.5 times the scoops. Or another way to think about it, at store C, they're charging a dollar fifty, a dollar fifty per per scoop. So store C is the most expensive, followed by B, and then store A is the cheapest. And that's what they're asking us. The least expensive ice cream per scoop is store A.